Hi, and welcome to Websites for Beginners. Now, here's one you may not have thought of or didn't even know you needed, the grid layout feature from Happy Add-ons for Elementor. This exclusive extension to your Elementor page makes your design more pixel perfect and definitely a tool for graphic design enthusiasts. Like I've mentioned, this is something you may never have heard of, but if you come from a publishing or design background, you're going to understand what this is all about, especially when we talk about 12 columns. To work with this, you first need to install the Happy Add-ons plugin for Elementor. And then when you've opened a page like this, go into the page settings. Page settings is down here in the left hand corner. This will open the settings in the editor. And here at the bottom, you will see grid layer. It's as simple as toggling it on. Immediately, you will see these columns appear, which is your grid, and you will count 12 by default 12. This is no mistake, and we'll talk about that very soon. What you've got over here is control over how many columns. So if you just need to work with two, you simply take it down to two, and then you can structure your whole page around that. You have the maximum width, which will dictate the space here on the left and the right. And this is very standard. 1140. You have offset and then your gutter width. This is the space here in the middle. And you can also change the overlay color. If you think pink is not your deal, you can go to something a little bit more to the left. Let's put it on yellow. Actually, I think the pink is softer on the eyes. Why would you want to use a grid? Well, many people like to structure their things in a very systematic way. And grid keeps things aligned and it makes your page very consistent. Now, the 12th grid column system has become very popular because I just showed you you can work with two. So that's a 50 to 50 column. But with a 12 grid column, you just use six on this side and six on that side. But what if you want to use 33 to 33 to 33, a third to third to a third column, three equal columns, then you've got four of these, next four, and another four, and so forth. The other one that makes it also possible is if you want something a little bit more unbalanced, like a five to seven ratio for your columns, then you have five columns over here and seven. And that is why the 12 column grid is so popular in design. The idea is to keep things aligned and consistent on your page. Whether you are going to use the grid or not, it's a nice way of just checking, do things line up. It's not always going to be perfect because if I collapse this editor, you're going to see we have a little bit more space to work with and you have some extensions over the left and the right. So take that into consideration and you can also adjust this for your mobile responsiveness. On my PC, I'm going to go Control Shift M, which takes me into tablet mode and Control Shift M takes me into my mobile view. For Mac, of course, that's Command Shift M. While I'm here now for my mobile responsiveness, I'm just going to reduce this to two columns because at a max, that's what you're going to be using on a mobile. In fact, in most cases, you're only going to be using one. And that means Control Command Shift M. I go back, you see, I still have my 12 column grid here for my desktop. Let's control Command Shift M to go to tablet and change this to maybe four. And then if we go control Command Shift M back to mobile, you see we have to fully responsive. So if you've never worked with a grid layout before, go ahead, give it a try and see how you feel about it. Follow the link in the description below to Happy Add-ons. And for more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel here to stay informed. From me then, JP, a big thanks for supporting the channel. Until next time.